The heart-stopping new video of that deadly train crash in Spain. We now know at least one American on board among the 80 killed. And look at this tonight. That train rocketing down those tracks, slamming into a barrier caught on tape. Tonight, the driver of that train reportedly revealing more about his speed before the crash, as we now hear from an American on board. ABC's Nick Schifrin is at the scene in Spain tonight. The moment of impact. The train racing around the bend and then violently careening off track before the camera cuts out. Watch again in slow motion. Right there, experts say that's the critical moment. The second car begins to leave the track, setting off a chain reaction. Each passenger car carrying 25 people and then the engine twisting and toppling. The driver reportedly admitted he was racing 110 miles an hour, more than double the speed he was supposed to be going. Que horror, Dios mío. It was too late for him to take any action. He would have had to start applying brakes probably a mile before the train entered that curve. We reach 18-year-old Stephen Ward on the phone. The car leaned sideways for, I would guess, less than two seconds. He was sitting in the eighth car on a mission for his Utah church. We were suddenly airborne. The thought never crossed my mind that we were crashing. There wasn't time. Within moments, the victims all around him. Cars in flames, others ripped apart like tin cans. Tonight, he's in the hospital with broken bones. In the U.S., passenger cars must have stronger frames. That means fewer fatalities and crashes. And a new system will soon be ushered in that will automatically slow American trains down if they're speeding. And in Spain tonight, the driver whose speed might have caused this tragedy is under investigation. Tonight, you can see the crane behind me. That'll remove the final two cars from the track. They're talking to the driver, and reportedly, he was only a few minutes late. David, they're asking him whether he was just trying to make up time.